Welcome to the top 5 Dragon Ball Kamehameha video where we'll be going through my top 5 Dragon Ball Kamehameha. Now we're going to be covering canon material and this list will be consisting of canon Dragon Ball material. This means that we won't be including any side movies or anything that is not canon to Dragon Ball. This will include Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super. So get your Senzu beans ready, charge up your key and join this spirit bomb right here on the Anthony Allen YouTube channel by smashing that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up and commenting with your favourite Kamehameha wave in the comment section. Join the discussion and now let's dive in. Coming in at number 5 is Goku's first Kamehameha from Dragon Ball. What makes Goku's first Kamehameha wave so exciting is the fact that Master Roshi, the master of the Kamehameha wave at that time, told Goku that in order for you to perform the Kamehameha, you would need to train for at least 50 years. After hearing this news, Goku is sad for a moment and then thinks to himself, what the hey, I'm going to try the Kamehameha anyway, and he ends up destroying a car in the process. Hardcore Dragon Ball fans may have noticed that in Fortnite Dragon Ball Crossover it is a quest for you to use the Kamehameha wave on the car and this pays homage to Goku's first Kamehameha. In the number 4 spot is Master Roshi destroys the moon with the Kamehameha in Dragon Ball. During the world tournament in Dragon Ball, Goku gazes on a full moon and turns into a great ape known as the Ozaru. Master Roshi being the martial arts champion that he is, realises that the moon Moon is the cause of Goku's transformation and decides to use the Kamehameha to destroy the moon. To put this into perspective, to destroy the moon you will need to provide at least 1.24 times 129 joules of energy to exceed the moon's gravitational binding energy. A megaton of TNT releases 4.184 PJ and one megaton is 1 million tons. Put this together and you will need at least 2.96 times 1013 megatons of TNT to at least in theory blow up the moon. Not to mention I currently don't know the density of the moon's core as I don't have the means to measure the mass of the moon in total to at least attempt to quantify the structure of its core and if the core can be harder than we anticipate. This is how powerful the Kamehameha was when Master Roshi destroyed the moon in Dragon Ball and everybody was shocked when the moon disappeared from the sky. Now you will understand why I fell out of my seat with this next entry. In the number 3 spot is Kefla's point blank Kamehameha wave to the face from Goku in Ultra Instinct, Dragon Ball Super. In Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Power, Kale and Khalifa fused using the Patara earrings to create a new being known as Kefla. Kefla was a powerful Super Saiyan who could easily rival some of the best fighters from our Universe 7 but Kefla was no match for our universe's Goku in Ultra Instinct form as he managed to get close enough and evade Kefla's attacks to give Kefla a point blank Kamehameha wave to the face and it made me fall out of my seat. This is definitely one of the best Kamehameha waves to date. In the number 2 spot we have Gohan vs Cell, the one handed Kamehameha wave, Dragon Ball Z. Cell was the perfect being and he had the ability to regenerate from one cell. So as you could imagine destroying Cell you would need to disintegrate every cell in his body and that's exactly what Teen Gohan achieved in Dragon Ball Z. And the number one top Kamehameha wave to date in Dragon Ball on a whole is Gogeta vs Broly the Broly movie. Gogeta is the fusion of Vegeta and Goku together after performing the fusion dance. Broly is the legendary Super Saiyan. In the Broly movie which is canon, Gogeta gets ready to destroy Broly with a Kamehameha wave which is met with a smile from Wiz. It's clearly one of the most powerful Kamehameha waves to date as Gogeta is in Super Saiyan blue form and he means business. And those are my top 5 Kamehameha waves, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment down below with your favourite Kamehameha. Thank you for tuning in to the Anthony Allen YouTube channel, check out the content you see on screen now, smash subscribe and remember you are awesome. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.